Hi, Floppy Catters. We got something new in the mail today. This is the Paw Swing Automatic Cat Grooming House. So how it works is there's a treat dispenser that's on the top, and when the cat goes in, it senses the cat goes in and it drops a treat. So the idea is, is the cat will willingly go in to get a treat, and then when they enter and exit, they get groomed by... <laughs> I don't have the treat dispenser in there right now. So that's why he popped his head out. <laughs> so eventually you can see already that it's got some hair on it from him just going in and out that one time. So we'll see how it goes. Charlie is very treat motivated. The treat dispenser that goes on top, I actually have charging on my counter. So this hole is normally closed. And these you, close off, but I'm gonna show you guys how it came and how I put it together. This is going to be a crowdfunding project that will eventually come to market. It comes really nicely packed. These are the, the steps in and out of it. This is everything that comes inside. I've said this before, but in case you're a new viewer here, I wanted to reinforce it that whenever you get a product for your cats, let them explore it. Let them, you know, what is this thing? It's new. So by the time I have it all put together, they'll be even more curious. Like, and every time I get a box, I say to them, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> get it, Tay. Get it, Tay. So step one is building the house. And you can see that it all snaps together. The roof has this little guy here, and you're gonna line it up at the front. What do you think? What's this place? I can go in here. I can go in here. Go in this place. What do you think? Go in here. Oh, <gasps> so beautiful. Now you could leave this and just have your cat use this for right now. Like just get them used to this before you put it all together. These two have started the shenanigans when I was looking at the instructions to figure out what my next steps were. So Charlie's sitting on top. Charlie is a 10 pound ragdoll cat um, and it's holding up really well to him sitting on top. And I would guess that it's even more sturdy when you have all six sides, but it's only four sides now and it's, doing well. Next up is the treat dispenser. So it shows you popping off the lid, taking this off. I'm not sure what these are. On the treat dispenser, which is this thing, you're gonna lift it up to add treats and the, the lid pops off and then you can put it back on and it slides just down into the form. Here we go. All right, on this end is where you're going to put this piece. I've been watching the instruction video that they sent me. You can hear that it just kind of clips on. That was super simple to clip on, way easier than the outside. Next is the entrance. Now, in the video that they sent me, they actually prop it up on its side like this so that it's easier to install it, again, using gravity to help you out. And that was super simple to put on too. It went right in. Next, you take this piece and you pop that open like that and then I guess that releases part of it then you'll notice on the bottom here looks very similar to these so that's exactly where these little steps go so this one has two so we'll put it in the two slot and this one has three so we'll put it in the three slot on the flip side of this entrance there's this little clip which you can release with a push there. And I would guess that that's what keeps it in place. It, it goes up there. So to accomplish that, you want this side with the push thing headed in. So we'll lift the stair over. Maybe it's, oh, I didn't have it down. It needs to go down first so that it fits in there. And then you hit the push to lock it in. So in case you're using this as an instructional video, I'll do that again. See how it's down and then you hit push and it pops up. 
If you need to take it out, you can just push this down to release it. We're almost there. We just have to install this part. So the idea of this thing is that the cats walk through here and they get groomed by walking through here. So each day when you're going through this introduction process, you make this hole smaller and smaller so that it's actually getting the fur off of them. But to start out, we're going to start with it the wide open so that they're very used to it. Right now it's the widest and all you do is slide that in and then to lock it down, there are locks on either side. A couple other things I wanted to point out is this turns so that you know you can get your cat out of there should they be in there. This treat dispenser plugs in so you can charge it and it will tell you how many times your cat has entered. This came inside the treat dispenser. I don't know what it is other than one of those things that like keeps wicks moisture away, but I'll find out. It also came with an extra grooming thing. I'm not sure why other than just to have a spare. I've got the treat dispenser charging on the counter and you can see maybe, yeah, that it's it's got a little battery charger showing it's charging. All right, he's exploring. Like, should I go in there? Oh, that's scary. So he's trying to find a different way to go in. He's walked around it twice now. Should I go in there? I don't know. I don't know if I should go in there. What are these things? Let me walk around one more time. Maybe I'll find a different entrance. Just don't walk around this one. I kind of guided him in and then he shot in there like a rocket. So. <laughs> I don't think you like these things. And that's why you take 12 days to make these smaller and smaller. It might take longer for Trig. My cats do not like to be groomed. So that's why I was super interested in this. We will be reviewing this Paw Swing Automatic Cat Grooming House over the next several weeks. Let me know what questions or comments that you have. Still have that charging on my counter. That will give you an idea of what it looks like on the inside, the little step. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's not on the market yet, but might be depending on when you watch this video. So I'll keep the links updated in the video in case you want to purchase it. We'll see you next time.